STEVN General Manager Singapore Flyer. Okay. Um, Stephen, can you give us an update on uh, what was the cause of uh, the disruption yesterday? Um, yesterday, was a, there was a, a component failure in the uh, drive unit, which uh, resulted in um, a small fire in the um, control panel. Um, what happened was, as a result of that, um, drive unit number one was unable to operate, um, which resulted in um, uh, a bit of a power outage. We've been able to restore the power by bypassing that uh, particular component failure. So are you all in the process of replacing that unit? We're in the process of investigating the, the cause of the, the component failure and at this point in time uh, we are still looking into how that happened and um, how it can be avoided in the future. Was it also because of uh, the rotation of the wheel? You know, a few months back it was reversed, so was that a cause? It's probably not the case. Uh, it's, uh, there is uh, no evidence to prove that uh, the rotation of the wheel in the opposite direction caused uh, this particular incident. So how much um, revenue loss are you looking at? Uh, I mean, stopping for say today and tomorrow, seeing that how it's assessed. Wouldn't be able to, wouldn't be able to give you that number at this point in time. But uh, um, our, our main priority right now is to uh, restore operation to the wheel as soon as possible. What? As soon as possible. Is there a given time? Uh, at this point in time, we won't be able to give you an answer on that. Uh, we are investigating the uh, the cause of the, the uh, component failure, and uh, we'll keep you posted as when we have uh, concrete uh, news. A couple of people have come from refunds. Yes. So, um, how, what sort of compensation is the flyer making to these people? We are providing them um, a full refund based on the whatever rates they have uh, been uh, in paying to us. We'll refund them for the loss of that uh, particular opportunity. Oh, you're talking about um, the tourists? Yeah. So, uh, we've dealt with them I individually as to uh, um, the necessary uh, uh, rectification for them. Uh, I just want to know if there's any companies that you book any capsules for their parties? Well, um, what we, we've spoken to all our corporate clients and our corporate clients have um, um, confirmed again our, their support for us. Um, they have um, they've requested to actually reschedule uh, to a later date uh, their bookings. So they continue to support us and we're appreciative of that. So you can't tell us how many of them make bookings you need to pay? Can't. can't Looking forward, uh, will this be operational, say, by New Year's because it's also a big celebration? Um, at this point in time, uh, we're not able to tell you, but uh, it is uh, unlikely to be ready by New Year's. It's unlikely, 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 unlikely to yeah. operate even by New Year's. Yeah. And what impact also would it have on also the tenants? Uh, we're going to have a meeting with the tenants to discuss how we uh, move forward with the tenants. And where will that meeting be? Um, it'll be soon. It'll be soon. Now, obviously, uh, today is uh, uh, Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas! <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll be meeting with them very soon. Yes. Oh, you'll be working through the Christmas break. Yeah. What Christmas break? <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing is um, SOPs, uh, emergency SOPs. Yes. Uh, what sort of SOPs were in place and who was who actually went through these SOPs? Um, the SOPs are um, done in conjunction with um, our contractors who built the, the wheel for us, Mitsubishi Happy Industries. Uh, we also work very closely with the police force on uh, our various SOPs. Um, so we do have a, a uh, we we do have a, a procedure in place, and where we notify the police force as well as we notify the uh, our uh, maintenance uh, team to get things up and running. So pre previously um, at Sentosa, it's winching upwards, but this time you guys winch downwards. So who came up with the decision to come down rather than get helicopters and winch upwards? Um, the winching downwards. Yes. Um, well, that's, that's basically a, a procedure which was uh, put in place by our, um, our rescue operation, um, Dive Marine. And um, um, because of the, na the very fact that it is a wheel, you're able to uh, access um, the various capsules through the ladders on, on the wheel. So there were some inconveniences for the occupants inside uh, yes. the capsule. So are there considerations you know, to, to, to put in place inside the capsule so that they can you know, take a number one and number two? Yes, we uh, will be uh, will be putting in place uh, more um, how put it um, um, uh, 
provisions for uh, refreshments and other um, uh, other necessary uh, precautions in case of emergency. Can I find out, like, um, after this whole episode, who will be the people carrying the wheel for operations again? Who will be doing the checks? Um, we are working right now with, um, for, for starters, we are working with um, um, the police force. Uh, we are licensed under uh, the Public Entertainment and Liquor Licensing Unit, and they will be clearing us uh, in conjunction with the certified uh, approving board. Yeah. One of the concerns of the contract was that uh, the staff did not seem to know how to respond to the cries of our Well, we've uh, yes, we we constantly are um, actually training our staff. There's, the staff have just recently gone through a quite extensive training um, in, uh, in various SOPs. Um, in this particular instance, um, our staff were constantly in contact with um, all the 28 capsules, um, actually 21 capsules which we occupied, and uh, we did uh, as best as we could um, furnish them the information. Um, obviously, um, we were. Um, we were unable to predict exact, precisely when um, the repairs would be completed, uh, but we were in touch with them and therefore we were able to um, identify um, uh, people with special needs and we had uh, we, uh, we communicated with them. But some felt that the information was insufficient and that promises of help coming soon were sort of mm. redundant or even pressurizing you know, because it wasn't going to come to some um, we, um, by the very nature of a, a wheel, it, it does uh, require you to. It is uh, the world's largest giant observation wheel. We had uh, put in place um, about 15 uh, uh, rescue, uh, rescuers, mountain climbers, who were on the wheel, um, going around providing um, supplies and refreshment. Um, and by this very nature, trying to address uh, 21 uh, capsules, it does take a bit of time. So we do apologize for um, if um, some of the capsules were uh, not uh, attended to at that point in time, but um, the rescuers were trying their best to address their needs. Are you really looking into the SOPs? We always are looking into our SOPs. We are always uh, improving our SOPs. We are always looking at how uh, we can improve on the, the performance. Um, um, this has a particular incident has thrown up some light, uh, and we will yeah, right now investigation uh, how we can improve it. And the safety checklist that you have is yes. going to be expanded? The, the safety checklist, I, I think we have actually quite an extensive safety checklist right now. Um, we, um, we as, as mentioned earlier, we will take into uh, account this particular requirement to have um, the um, refreshments and uh, um, other necessities in the event of, a, of an incident like this. In terms of priority and technical uh, repairs, what is your priority now? Our priority right now is really to investigate um, how this arose and uh, um, as best as we can prevent it from ever happening again. Which means, I mean, what... what uh, there, was a component, there was a component failure and we will be um, looking into precisely how this happened and how we can avert such a recurrence of an incident. Is there like a redundancy system? Uh, this wheel is actually built with... Um, there are six pairs of uh, drive motors. And these six pairs of drive motors, um, um, you really need only three pairs of drive motors, or maybe four at best, to uh, to move the wheel. So we do have extensive uh, redundancies in terms of uh, power to move the wheel. But why didn't it kick in? Um, in this particular instance, there was a uh, there was a there was a, a small fire, and I would like to emphasize it was a small fire, which we put out within a matter of minutes, um, which caused um, um, certain problems in the circuitry board. And as a result, we had to take out and uh, repair and bypass uh, some of these components. Under normal circumstances, um, this would not have happened, but this was a very unique situation. Well, in the London Eye, apparently, yes. when something, came, if something happened like that, they have the manual wind down. Uh, why not this in place here? Uh, firstly, to my understanding, um, uh, in the London Eye situation, uh, it's never uh, been really uh, practiced. It is a ra rather large wheel, and um, um, our co together with our contractors, uh, it was. Uh, I understand that uh, um, they have uh, not designed it for a manual uh, movement because um, of the um, that this uh, using the electrical system is a better system. But so you are saying that the fire was caused by electrical power failure or something that happened. An electrical component which failed, basically. As a result, of this electrical component which failed. 
um, um, it caused certain um, consequent effects. Yes. I think a lot of people will be thinking, you know, this is the largest wheel, and then why are you taking like six, seven days to repair it all the way New Year's? You say that might not. Be- the repair will be um, the repair will be uh, rather quick actually. Mm-hmm. We believe that repair will be done in a matter of days. Um, and um, in fact, most of the repair has been already completed. We just want to make sure that uh, all the components are, are well in place and we, are, we have a thorough check on it. So yeah. just let me get it clear. Because of the small fire, uh, you, had to repair, uh, you had to put out the fire and to put out the fire, you had to shut down all the six drives. Um, no, because of the fire, it caused certain other uh, components to fail and uh, we've been able to um, um, restore that at this point in time, even yesterday actually. Yes. We uh, in in particular, uh, we actually had uh, several dry runs, both with um, the MHI and Mitsubishi heavy, heavy Industries, as well as uh, Dive Marine, and that's why they were able to um, put together uh, the rescue even for the um, these uh, ten people uh, in that period of time. Um, so yes, there were in short, yes, there were there have been several uh, dry runs already. This was before the wheel opened. Uh, we've. Before the wheel opened, during the, the wheel opening, we had several um, uh, rehearsals of, of the start nature. I understand that um, on December 13th, yes. according to some people who were here, yes. there was a four-hour um, stall. Okay. I, I, I thank you for that question because um, the clarification is this. In the event of a, um, a, a wheel stoppage, um, our protocol is that we communicate with the police force, a public entertainment medical licensing unit, to notify them of this um, this particular I- incident. Um, in that particular incident, what happened was that within an hour, we were able to restore power to the wheel. We were able to uh, bring the people down and, e- and uh, uh, evacuate them. Um, and what happened was subsequent to that is that before we can recommence business, we need to um, get the approval from the, uh, the police force. So um, this has been quite a unique situation for us as far as we can see. Yeah. Can you explain me what is the last time for this incident? Um, I think our our um, our concern is that um, we we would like to uh, um, the financial loss is uh, uh, not so it's, it's important to us but however our, our uh, greater concern is to make sure that uh, um, the people who have um, come on the single flyer um, have uh, been uh, taken care of properly. Do you plan to have this medical box inside uh, this capsule? I, I heard London I did some, some simple medical box inside. Yeah. Do you plan to have this kind of We intend to look into what sort of provisions we will provide, we will put into the, the, the wheel. We have, um, um, we have actually, we had actually a plan for all these requirements like refreshments and all that stuff. Um, and that was the discussion we had actually a few weeks ago. Uh, we were un- unfortunately we didn't put it in place in, in time for this particular event. So yeah, medical supplies will be provided. Uh, the fortunate thing about Singapore is that the weather is actually quite mild, and we don't have the start problems which uh, London would have here. What is the existing uh, safety feature you have like, in the capsule? Um, like uh, intercom. Okay. Yeah. Very good question. Uh, we have intercom. Uh, we have two intercom. We have um, a CCTV where we can have direct uh, con- uh, contact with the people. Uh, third um, element is actually we do have a fire extinguisher also uh, in the wheel. Um, we have a uh, provision to um, also um, open the, the hatch on the wheel so that the fresh air can come in. In terms of advertising and branding, yes. you sort of uh, go all out to basically assure the public that the, the flyer is safe um, um, and uh, we will uh, plan our communication uh, we'll, we'll have our communication plan um, as soon as um, things are back in, in normal stage when you talk about SOP for evacuation right, of yes. the, uh, passengers in such an event can right, yes. you maybe run us through very briefly step by step you know, uh, what, okay. what should be what should be um, I'd, I'd rather not uh, uh, um, sort of answer that particular question at this point in time. Um, SOPs are something which we um, we uh, generally do not communicate. Okay. Thank you. Do you think uh, 
Uh, at this point in time, yeah, maybe uh, uh, just allow another do, two questions. Do you think you had a, a better way to rescue those people kept inside this capsule like last night? Last night? Because some people were really scared for the hype. So do you think there are any better way to rescue them? Uh, uh, we lo we're looking into um, other, other means of rescue, but um, at this point in time, we can't uh, give you an answer to that particular question. Yeah. Is there anything Last question. we have done differently? Uh, is there anything we have done differently? Um, no, I think um, uh, particularly Dark Marine has done a, a very good job um, and um, we, are, we are quite appreciative of their work uh, bringing down the people. Um, at this point in time, I can't, can't really tell you anything. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your...